everyone, today we're gonna make this braces purse. This purse is designed by Peggy Wu. You can find her fan page down below. Be sure to follow her on her fan page for more design. For this project, I have made two. This one is Elsa and umbrella for the bottom, and this one's flower with Nada Lucy. You can attach any charm that you like. Today I'm gonna use my little pony for the bottom here, so I'm gonna use light purple and dark purple. For this purse, first we're gonna start it from the bottom of the purse. For the bottom here, we're gonna make a single chain for 12 times, from this side to this side. First take one single band, twist it, make it into two loops, and just make single chain for 12 times. So this is two, three, four, five, and continue to do this until you have 12. And I'll see you when you're done. So now we have 12 single chain. So this is the bottom part of the purse right here. So now we're gonna continue on going to the first layer so we're gonna move up here so we're gonna go ahead and do 13 and 14 so this is 13 and 14 the same way just continue on a single chain but this last two we're gonna look at it like this so this band actually will be the first band on the border for the first layer if you need marker, we can make a marker here. So when we come back here, we know this is the first band. So put the hook back to here. Now we're going to count only the purple bands. One, two, three, four. The fourth band on the top here. So put the hook through. Bring it through. Put both band through. This will be second band on the border. So now we're gonna move on to the next chain. Put the hook through again. And just continue on, go all the way to the last one here. Okay, now this is our last one, the first band, we started it. Okay, after we finish this, we're right here. So at the end, we're going to add three stitch on the end and three stitch on this end. And then one on the top and one on the bottom. So total on the last band here, you should have five stitch in here one two three four five and the same on this side so one to one on the top one to one on the bottom so now we have first one on the top here so we're going to add three stitch on this last band here so this is one two Okay, after we add these three, we're going to make one for the bottom part on the same stitch. So add one more. So total on this last pin, we have five stitch in here. One, two, three, Four, five. So now we're going to move on to this one and then one to one on the bottom go all the way to the last one. So move on to the next stitch. And 
and just one to one go all the way to this end okay now we go all the way on this end we're gonna add three more stitch on this last part so on this last stitch here we have one on the top one on the bottom so we need three on the end part here so we're gonna add one two and three Okay, so on this last one, you should have five stitch in here. One, two, three, four, and five is the first one. So now we're going to connect this first band on the border to the last one. So now we have complete the first layer. So total, if you count the border, you should get 30 stitch. So let's see what we got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we got 30 total. So now we're going to continue on to the next layer. So we're going to add one more band. This will be first band on the border for this layer. So we're going to make a marker right here. And now, after we finish this first piece, after this will be super easy. Just one to one, go all the way around. So you will continue to have 30 stitch on each layer. And so you will grow longer in here. For this one, from here to here, total I have eight there. So now you can add seven more there because this is first there. So one to one, add seven more there. So it will look like this. You can make it longer or shorter. It's up to you. But today I'm going to make this size. So you start from the second stitch on the border here because we do one to one. Walk the next one. And just continue to do this all the way around. Come back here, connect them together. And then you count the border, you should have 30 stitch. And eight, seven more layers, including this layer. And I will see you when you're done. Okay, now we have finished the base part. Now we're gonna add the covers on the top here. And for the border, we finish the cover first, and then we just add the border after we finish the cover. So now for the cover, we're going to use 14 stitch on each layer. And total, we have 4 layers, 1 to 1. So instead of going all the way around, we're just going to do on this side. So we're going to make 14 stitch to this side, and then come back here. And total, we add 4 layers. So you will have an additional part comes out like this. So now we're going to start it from first layer. So add one more. So this will be first band on the border on this layer. So make a marker here and the same one to one for 14 stitch. So we start it from here. It's up the same one that you do for the body, it's up we're gonna stay on this side. So one to one. One to next stitch. And just go all the way to this side until you have 14 stitch. And I'll see you when you're done. Okay, now we have 14 stitch. Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 stitch. And then the last one is going to be next there. So this will be the 15 bands from this side here. So now we're going to turn around. And then go on this way, one to one. 
So this will be the border for this there on this side. So one to one go this way. So this is the first one. So start from the second. Do the same thing, go all the way to this side, and I will see you when you're done. Okay, now we just finished the second layer on the cover. So if you count it here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is 14 band, so we need 14 on each layer. So for the last one, I'm going to do one more time. Okay, so this is 15 band on this border. So we're going to turn it along again. Take one more band. This will be the border for this layer. So now we can move, remove this marker and put it right here. Okay, and the same thing, go on this way, one to one. So we started from the second pin on the border. And go on this way, all the way to the last one. And I'll see you when you're done, okay? Now let's count see how many we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is 14 bands. So the last one, do it one more time. So this 15 band will be the next layer. So we have 1, 2, 3. So one more layer, come back here, then we're done. So this will be the first on the border. Since this is the last layer, so we don't need marker anymore. So we're just going to go ahead and turn it along. And then one to one, start from second band. one go all the way to the last one here and I'll see you when you're done okay now we make it all the way back here so this is the last one so we're just gonna tie a knot here because we're done here make sure you pull it tight we can remove this marker now and now we can hide this part underneath here you can hide it anywhere you want as long as you want hang in there it should be fine Now we're going to make the border in different colors. For this one, I use single band for the border. This one, I use double band for the border. So that's the difference. It's up to you. You can use single band or double band. They all look pretty cute. Now if you want to add your braces on this side, you start it from this side. If you want to add your braces on this side, then you start it from this side and go all the way and come back here. They are the same way to do it. But it's up to you, depending on your personal preference, to see you want to display this on your right or on your left. So today I'm going to keep it on your right. So I'm going to start from here. I'm going to use lighter purple and use a single band. For the border, I'm going to use different kinds of technique. So you do like this, kind of like tie a knot. And then move on to the next stitch take another band take this outside band going through so now you should only have one left and move on to the next stitch and just keep doing this
So now you can see the borders are different colors. On the corner here is the same. Just take the border band. Now on the top here, just one to one, go all the way here, and come down here, and go all the way back here, one to one. So now you can pass your video, just continue to finish this all the way back here, and I'll see you when you're done. Okay, after you finish all the way around, connect first one to last one together. If you don't want the braces part, you can just take a single band, connect them together and just tie a knot and hide it then we're done for the first part but today I'm going to show you how to do the braces part so I'm going to undone this part so come back to here the same last one to first one connect them together now I'm going to make the braces today I'm going to show you the single chain braces you can use any kind of braces fish tail any kinds of braces to connect here so i'm going to take two dark purple connect them together and just alternate the color you can make it the link that will fit your wrist So now just continue to do this and make it however long you want it and I will see you when you're done. Okay, after you finish the lean that you want it, you can just measure it like this. So I think this would fit me just one, so I'm going to just connect this part. Okay, one single pin. Connect them together. Tie a knot here. You can connect this part to this first band on the chain. It's up to you. So now I'm just gonna hide this part inside here. So you won't see it from outside. Okay. Now we just finish our braces first. We're gonna attach this bottom to here. So for the bottom, on the back of the bottom, it usually has a hole. You can get this bottom at your local art store. I'm going to use the purple, dark purple. Okay, just put one band through the hole. Now from the point that you want to attach to it, just put your hook through like this. And take one end, pull it through. And then tie a knot here. And just run it through this bottom. So that way you will hold it for us. There are many different ways to do this part. If you have better way to do it, that's okay. You don't have to do it the same way like me. Now we're just going to find a point on the top here. And take this bottom through it. So now we have our little pony attached to it. And on this part, you can find a charm just attached to here. And you look like this. And if then it's fun, or you can even use loom band to make your own charm to attach to it. And you look like this. And just simply tie a knot here, like this. So now when you go out, you can wear this on your wrist so you won't last your little purse. For more video like this, please remember to give me a big thumb up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have super fantastic day. I'll see you soon.